Tonight, another new twist in the alleged hate crime attack against Empire actor Jesse Smollett. Chicago prosecutors have charged Smollett with filing a false police report. CBS 13's Adrian Moore is here with the latest, including new exclusive video just into our newsroom, Adrian. Yeah, Tony and Sharon, just minutes ago, prosecutors announced they are charging the actor with falsely reporting he was attacked in Chicago last month. Now, filing a false police report is a felony and could mean up to three years in prison if he is convicted. Chicago police were presenting evidence evidence against him to a grand jury earlier today while Smollett has continued to deny staging the attack. I'm pissed off. How do you not believe that? It's the truth. The two brothers who claim the 36-year-old actor orchestrated the attack say he paid them $3,500 to do it. CBS News has learned the men were waiting outside the grand jury chambers earlier today, waiting to testify, but that testimony was later postponed. Now, Smollett told police he was attacked by two people who yelled racial and homophobic slurs, tied a rope around his neck, and poured a chemical substance on him. He also claimed one of the attackers said, quote, this is MAGA country. Now, take a close look here. This is exclusive video from our sister station in Chicago of Ola and Abel Usandaro buying masks and a red hat from a hardware store before that alleged attack. Uh, they were arrested last week but were released without any charges. As for a motive behind all of this, there were reports that Smollett was concerned about being written off the show Empire, but Fox maintains those reports are false. Now, we've also learned tonight from L.A. County officials that the actor pleaded no contest to some misdemeanor charges of giving false information to police back in 2007. It was during a DUI stop. Investigators say they stopped him and he gave them a fake name. So much more to come on this. This is a disturbing case mm -hmm. all the way around. Thanks, Adrian.